Hey everyone, welcome to Grafton Custom Woodworking. The door behind me is my two car garage where all the magic happens. So I would like to take you and show you around Grafton Custom Woodworking shop. Let's go. Once you walk in the door, the back wall, you see I got my fire extinguisher right there, thermometer and air, con air conditioning. But this back wall is pretty much my artwork and just kind of displays i got my first aid kit right there we've got a deep freeze standing up and then i got some ice chests and my D big dwalt level but basically some ladders and i've got a little mini fridge that i keep all of my mountain dews in and this right here all this right here this was an old tv stand that I repurposed and just kind of brought it in here and use, but I keep all of my jigs that I make all up on top of it. And then over here, I've got all my stationary stuff. If I come up with ideas, things I want to do, I just grab some paper. And then uh, right here, I have my drafting kit where you want to draw a few things, a little bit of Purple Heart there. Uh, this was one of our old tables that I, I used. This was one of my first work benches. I just kind of put stuff on to kind of start building things. That's a uh, art ed easel that I made for my son a while back. I kind of repurposed it right now. He brings it down and plays with it every once in a while, but I kind of just been keeping some notes on it. But as you turn around, this uh, French cleat wall is one of the first things that I did and it has been so wonderful to have it in, in here. But I did, that was right there, a little outskirt. I was, didn't know what to do with it so I drew some stars on it and m made it look kind of like a little flag. I did install a mini split so that's works wonders in the summer. I can turn the AC on in the winter, turn the heater on. This little tool caddy was one of the first things that I also built. And so I still use it to this day. Holds a lot of tools there. And then I have my drawers and really nothing in here right now. This is just kind of quick screwdrivers and stuff. Some of my little pliers. little sockets and stuff but and then this little workbench here was one of the first little workbenches that I built uh, this was one of the very first tools that I had was this I had a craftsman router and it's actually still in there but I got this router table to actually do some things and then um, I've got this where I can actually pull it out and have all of my little router bits and stuff like that right there handy. I just recently built this here. This is kind of just something put together real quick, just a box to keep the dust and stuff in. I built it out of an old shelf that I took off the wall. Then I have my little drill press and then my miter saw. And then I kind of put here, I got a little sanding thing where I pull this out, hook my dust collection up on it and sand and it, all the dust comes up in it. Got a couple of tools, got my pin nailers and then some Forstner bits, sockets, ratchets, some heavy duty ratchets. And then a little bit of extra space to store some stuff. Over here, I did build so that way I can quickly see my fasteners. And I just throw my glue up there. Easily accessible for my gloves. I made that so I could grab gloves really quick. And then my tape. And then my little pencils, all my pencils and pens. Uh, if I have any like little nails or anything like that that I need to cut off, I always keep them in here so they don't get sucked up in the vacuum or get in a tire. Got my little paper towels. I just recently built this. This is where I can keep all of my sanding stuff on. So 
I got all my different little grits that I can go through, see it real quick, just easily grab it, pull it out and get my sandpaper as I need it. Then the, actually the garbage can actually hangs up on the French plate the way it's got the little lip. So that was kind of neat. Just hanging it there. It's real accessible to get to. Right here, this little cart was what my planer was on. And so I just put my sander here, sander here, and take the cords, plug them up, take my dust collector, hook it all up. And so that way I can have all my sanding stuff right here. So I'm just using this table and then I've got my dovetail jig. I've used once, <laughs> but I want to try to figure out and use it quite a little bit more. I do enjoy you doing hand cut dovetails, but on a lot of boxes and stuff that will come in handy. So I kind of use that there to house that stuff right there with all my sanding. I did uh bill. This is for my little Craig track accu cut. And so basically you can unscrew these knobs and that turns and then it lifts up. So that way this is kind of out of the way, but I can still get to it really easily. And then I got my pocket hole jig. This is actually sitting on the cleats. I can pull this up and bring it to my workbench. And then I have all of my fasteners and everything up in there. So it sits all in there out of the way. And now I've got something longer for my bigger boards. And I got my Rockler bench cookies that I can do stuff on. And I got some things hanging up, some levels squares and then this is my dust collector this is a harbor freight dust collector that i kind of took, took apart put it into a cyclone and it dumps into a bucket down here and then that can just lift up and i can take that bucket and go dump the bucket but basically it comes in here through the hose all that and it goes up through there and then it comes out here and then goes up into the attic and then it goes outside and i'll show you that in a little bit so i built this workbench here and so i was able to get my planer set in sit in there so that way i can run my boards through the planer and i'll open up the garage door if i got a longer board and then i got my electrical if i need to put electrical here i got a quick if i'm using a battery and i need to charge it real quick i put it there but this whole bench here, it's all that match fit. So it goes all the way around. And so all of that's match fit. So now my workbench, I can pretty much put anything up anywhere, hold it down and work on it. And so all my different drawers, this is kind of my, this top one is my loose screws and stuff that I haven't really figured out where to put it or some things just kind of And then my next drawer here is my some glues and tapes and stickies things. Then I have my PPE. And then my empty containers where I can kind of store empty containers when I need some stuff. Then coming over here, this is my sharpening. So I got some chisels here, my sharpening station. And then up under this, I'll show you one day is I'm putting together um, where a little sharpening bench where I can sharpen my chisels. And here is all my cleaning stuff. So I got my little brushes and little hose. This hose here, actually this piece here hooks up under here. And then I can take, and I'll show you that real quick, but this right here, it comes off and then it connects in there and so I can hook my sander and stuff like that when I'm working up on the bench and hook the hose up to the sander. This also actually unhooks here and hooks here for my planer. And the planer hose, there's a hose that goes up under here that hooks there and then goes to my planer. So it sucks all through the planer too. But that's cleaning and yes, this is what my drawers look like. They always look like this. I try to keep everything nice and clean. So that way when I open a drawer, I can see what I'm looking for. I really don't like 
those mats where you cut tools out because it's to me it's a waste of space here i can kind of set things close and still if i keep it organized i know where everything's at and still see it that bottom one down there is empty right now this one right here is really my layout tools so i can open this up and kind of get all my little layout tools that i need to lay out this next one is my is like my joinery stuff if i need to do any kind of joinery and stuff uh, i kind of classify this as my joinery and then here's another joinery <laughs> glue gun always got to have that uh rockler bead lock system and then i've got this stuff this is grinding if i want to do some burning and stuff like that then going to this next drawer here is all my cabinetry so everything i need to do with cabinetry kind of stuff this is the drawer for that then i got my small clamp drawer and these are my match fits that go into my workbench they slide right in i can open these up real quick bring it over to my workbench slide them right in clamp stuff down real real easy and then whenever i'm done with it put it right back so i know where it's at this next one is my medium clamps And this is where I'm trying to throw some of my screws in to kind of sort out, uh, taking from my other thing, and I'm gonna start sorting them out into these little buckets, and I'm going to label them in which each one of them is. So I'm kind of going through that right now and cleaning that up. Over here, I'm gonna unhook this. This is my electrical stuff. And then I have some odd and ends, electrical stuff. And then my bag. So whenever I need to take tools and go stuff, go places and stuff, I can put some, my use my bags. But this hose, my dust collector, it hooks up here. And then it goes, runs over to my chop saw, miter saw. And then I have one here with a blast gate to my drill press. And I recently just added a splitter here when I put that box under my router. So that way I have one for the top, the fence, and also the router. So this pipe goes all the way down and connects to this one here. And this hose goes to this hose, which is a lot longer. And this hose will actually reach the whole garage so that way i can clean keep cleaning up the whole garage all the way around so that's how that works there i recently put this in um what was going on was when i hooked my dust collector up under here i could not put my push my table saw all the way up against and then there was a lip so I, my outfeed always would have a lip there. So I built this to kind of lift it up and it kind of sits up under here. So that way I have a little bit better outfeed and this is a little bit lower. So as it falls down, it kind of rides up and up on my table and I can just push things off. But I did build this not too long ago. And then I can, you know, I got my drawers here with all of my table saw stuff. And then blades of oh, and my blade cleaning so whenever i need to take a blade off and clean it up really good i can cross cut sled this is a new addition um i got this off of woodworking for mere mortals and i kind of changed it up a little bit i put these little boxes here so that way I could put like my little small cutoffs and stuff. If I wanted to do some pin turning or something one day, I got places to put my little blanks and stuff in there, but I got everything organized in types of wood in each one of these little boxes. And then my longer pieces can slide right in there. 
And then my sheet goods will go along here. So you can see these are little bins in here that house. So this workbench, I did put a little opening box here and this is where my son can keep a lot of his toys so that way i'm not completely kicking him out of the garage but he can put a lot of his little toys and stuff so whenever he wants to go outside and play he can just reach over here and get some i did insulate my garage door so that way it keeps all the heat and cold air in a little bit and i did insulate above the garage in the attic too so going along this wall i do have this is all of my finishes stains glues paints and uh and then i got all my different cleaners and, and stuff there golf bag those are my rockler clamps that i got and then I have found my garage door. I can actually hang uh, parallel clamps. I got two of them there. I'm gonna swing you around over here. You can see there's four of them here. And actually four fit where the garage door gets right about here and it's perfect. So I can actually put four parallel clamps hanging up there where it's nice and neat. So I'm going back to this wall. I started putting French cleats along this wall got some of them going and I will finish it all the way up this is a table that my wife asked me to put together or, or bench for her as she's doing some of her she likes to mess with rocks and jewelry and stuff like that so that way she can bring her stuff in here and do some things and it's not getting sawdust all over it so I built this similar to what mine is and i will paint it here in a little bit and then i just got a top for it so that way it's nice and smooth and it keeps clean and stuff like that some more of my mountain dew and then i got this right here where she can put the lights on and it shines down and it, those lights are really really super bright but basically in these drawers here this side here is my son's so he likes to put some of his little stuff in it that if he wants to come out here and do some little woodwork and he just likes to take a hammer and a chisel and just chop away really. But as he does little building things and stuff. So he does have his tools here, a little measuring tape, a little drill, but he's got a little toolbox. He keeps them there. And then my wife kind of does where she's kind of gotten some things. She's put together some things where she wants to do and I don't even know what all's in here. And then this one here we got. And she's starting to fill some of these up. We got paints and stuff like that. So whenever she wants to paint some stuff or my son wants to come out here and paint. And then here's some of her rock stuff. And, and then here's a lot of her rock stuff where she can turn rocks and gems and stuff like that. So she'll come out here and plug it in and do all her stuff. And then she's filled these little things up with little jewelry making stuff. Right above this is one of my recent builds. And this was part of one of my woodworking for mere mortal classes. And so I changed the design up a little bit because I wanted something here so I could put my stereo system and my DVDs and then hook it up to my TV. And so I kind of did this, and then whenever you open it up here, I've got all my DVDs, woodworking DVDs, some of my woodworking books, and then some of my electronics and stuff like that. So I'll eventually fill this up. But, you know, I can come over here and hook up my phone and charge my phone while I'm out here. Uh, I can come out here and hook up the computer and then, you know, take my keyboard and work on the computer if I need to edit some stuff and all that. And then so, but turn on some music, listen, and I got some big old speakers on that side. And then over on that side. So those hook up to those speakers, I can jam out while I'm sitting working. And right here by the door is where I hang up my broom 
and my mop and my woodworking cat's moses vest and so as soon as i walk in the door i can grab it put it on and get to work my attic is right up there and in my attic you can see i have my air compressor so i've got a 30 gallon air compressor up in the attic above here and I'm in a box with uh kind of some noise damper and uh some padding up under it so when it vibrates and kick on it's not loud at all you can barely hear it so that helps out a lot and then i have my air filter so i turn this on especially when i'm sanding and stuff like that it blows air back here and then all the air it sucks in right here so whenever i'm working on the table saw or i'm over here sanding it's sucking the air out from under me and then i got a couple of lights all up in here to keep it nice and bright so i can see and i got the power here for my table saw there's one other thing i want to show you i'm going to open up the garage just real quick to look you can see when i have four parallel clamps and i open up the garage door that's perfect fit right there. And so this piano hinges, and so this opens up. So I can actually, whenever I open up the garage door, this will open up and I can have more of a workspace. Or I can come around here if I need a board sitting up this way, I need to work on it. I can put my clamps in here and work on it on the edges and stuff like that and let the board fall down to the ground. So that's really, really handy to have right here. And so then the garage door shuts right in front of it and so we're good to go but one thing is when this goes up and goes into the attic it i have it coming out here and it filters out here and a little bit of dust gets on the and here is where my mini split comes out and goes into the back with the unit i appreciate you watching and allow me to show you around my small two car garage shop and show you what grafton custom woodworking is now so thank you Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank y'all. Talk to you later.